I want to welcome all of you to Strength and Balance with me, Nancy, and we're Power for Parkinson's. And also, happy Monday and happy August. I can't believe it's August already, but it is. So today is the 1st of August, and we're gonna have a great time today. This is our prop. I would like, if possible, for you to find a tennis ball or a spalding ball or racquetball, something that's fairly hard. If you don't have that, another option is something about this side that's size that's a little bit squishier. Or if you don't have any of those, if you can tightly roll up a pair of socks. We want something that we can use both for hand dexterity, yes, coordination, but today we're also going to address the symptom of rigidity. So that means those tight muscles, particularly in the chest, but also in other areas of the body. And you're gonna to wanna to stay on because in addition to our standing part where we're going to stand behind the chair, you always have the option to sit, we're going to be working on balance and pivoting, and also some heel-toe work, but we're also going to use, at the end, the ball for some massage work. Self-massage, no masseuse needed, okay? So you'll wanna stay on so you can get those massage tips. Really great. All right, I wanna say quickly hello to Jay in California, Hafiza also in California, my New Yorker contingency, Grace in Long Island, Marianne and Heidi in New York, Stacy in Rhode Island, also on the East Coast, um, Bill in Pennsylvania, wonderful, Richard coming back on, so glad that you're coming back on, Richard. He's in Austin, actually Cedar Park, which is just a little bit north of Austin. Joan in Portland and Tina, and Tina is also asking about freezing and gait. Yes, I will try to address that at the end of class. So um, sit forward in your chairs. Make sure that the, your back is away from the back of the chair. Toes are tracking straight ahead with the knees tracking along with the toes. Shoulders are over your pelvis. Chin is resting on an imaginary shelf so that it doesn't drop and allow our chest to sink. Hands are on our thighs. The chair is coming up underneath you and supporting you and lifting your spine. Press against your thighs and grow maybe a quarter of an inch. Try to stay here, breathe, because it feels a little bit tense, and then relax your hands and wrists Release your forearms and elbows. Relax your upper arms and shoulders. Soften your neck muscles. Wiggle your jaw from side to side. Good, poof your cheeks out. Suck your cheeks in. Poof your cheeks out again. Good, relax your cheeks. Wrinkle up your nose twice. Lift your eyebrows up and down, up and down, up and down. Squeeze your whole face together. Open it out wide, mouth and eyes. And relax, shake it out. Good. Okay, lift your arms up, turn your palms, cross your hands, hook your thumbs. Flutter your butterfly wings. Place your hands on your chest. This is our butterfly breath. Sit nice and tall. You can close your eyes if you want. We're going to take three easy breaths here. So if you've had some anxiety today, this is a good way to start addressing that. And it really makes you feel great, makes you feel better. Take a breath in and let it out through your mouth. And again, take an easy breath in and let it out. And one more time, take a breath in 
and easy let it out. And relax your hands back onto your thighs. Still sitting nice and tall, spine is lifting, chest is lifting. Now we're going to take what I call a full body breath or a vessel, as though your whole torso was a vessel and you were gonna pour the air into it. We're gonna suck that air down into the belly and lower back first, then into the chest area, thinking three-dimensionally, and then all the way up into the throat area. Sitting nice and tall, and begin breathing in, Suck the air down and expand your belly and your lower back. Sip some more air in and expand your chest. Sip some more air in and breathe all the way up to your throat. And let the air out. Good, relax your arms down and bring the shoulders all the way up. And as you drop them, say, ha. Huh. And again, lift really high shoulders. Ha! Huh. And one more time. And ha! Huh. Good. Still sitting tall, lift the spine and chest again. Let's do our sun salutation. Reach wide as you breathe in. And exhale. Thumbs come to your breastbone, lift your chest and spine. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Lift and lengthen. Breathe in. Breathe out, reach forward and down, touch toes or ankles, but if that's not easy, you can touch shins or knees. Breathe in, reaching forward and up. Breathe out, relax your shoulders, lift your chest and spine. Do it again, big breath in and out. Breathe in here, breathe out, lift and lengthen. Easy in the shoulders, head floats up like the helium balloon. Breathe in, breathe out. Go a little further, bring your chin toward your chest. Breathe in, reach forward and up. Breathe out, lift the chest and spine. Last time, a little faster. Big breath in and out. Breathe in here. Breathe out, lift and lengthen. Breathe in, breathe out, come all the way down. Bring your chin to your chest. Breathe in, reach forward and up. Breathe out, lift the spine, lift the chest. Relax the shoulders and elbows. Turn your chest, shoulders and head to your right. Come back to center. Chest, shoulders and head to your left. Come back to center. Warming up the spine, chest, shoulders, and head to the right again. Come back to center, loosening up the core muscles, and over to the left. Come back to center, good. And relax the arms down. We're gonna speed things up now. So place your hands here. We're gonna turn our head to the right, and center to the left, and center with a nice swivel. Looking up and center, looking down and center. Tilting to the right and center, to the left and center. Tilt to the right again, drop your chin down and let it roll over to the left and come back to center. Let's reverse that. So we're going to look to the left first, swivel nice and smoothly to the right Swivel back to center, looking down first. Coming back to center, looking up first. Tilting to the left and center to the right. And center, tilt to the left again. Drop the chin down toward the chest without dropping the chest over to the right and come back to center, relax the arms down. Just loosening up those neck muscles, rolling the shoulders up, push back and down. This again is for the rigidity, those stiff muscles, circling the shoulders, and a little faster with single circles. Up, push back and down, up, push back and down, as though you're kind of nudging somebody who's behind you, pushing them away. That's it, good, and take a breath. 
exhale, open the arms out to the side, turn the palms up and to the back and rotate those upper arms and to the back. Think about your upper arm muscles really looking to the front and looking to the back and looking to the front and looking to the back and all the way to the front, palms and inside elbows facing the front or all the way up to the ceiling and reach for the walls. Moving your ribs, really moving the ribs. Try to make your ribs move as much as possible. Good, relax the arms down, easy swing. Bent elbows, relaxed wrists, relaxed fingers. Now stretch the arms so they're long and the energy is flowing from your solar plexus in your chest, down your arms, through the joints, into the hands, down the fingers, out the fingertips like laser beams. Swing the arms nice and loose again a couple of times. Good, and then reach again this time, adding the head turning to the back hand each time. Really important exercise for that symptom in Parkinson's that tends to go away when we're walking, where we swing with the opposite leg and turn our head slightly, wiggle those shoulders out. Good. Okay. Reach to the side, swing all the way across, scoop under with the other hand, pull your shoulder down. We're gonna squeeze our fist and open, squeeze and open, squeeze and open, squeeze and open. Open wide, open wide, reach the fingertips behind you if you can, and relax down. Reach to the left side, sweep across your chest, scoop under with your right hand, pull the shoulder down. And the hand goes fist, stretch, fist, stretch, fist, stretch, fist, stretch. Open wide, wide, reach the fingertips behind you, opening your chest, and relax down, wiggle it out. Good. Okay, we're gonna reach up. Slide down your left chair leg with your left hand. Curve over, this arm is gonna be over your ear if possible, and drop your right sit bone down into the chair. So right arm curving, right sit bone down, getting a nice side stretch. Breathe here. Come back to center, give yourself a hug, gentle twist. Come back to center, take your sweatshirt off. We gotta have hugs every day, yes? Reach up, slide down with the right hand this time, left arm is up, left arm curves over the head and over the ear, drop that left sit bone down into the chair, big stretch. And lift up and out, cross the arms, give yourself a hug. Come back to center, take your sweatshirt off again. Roll the shoulders. Wiggle a little forward, slide one foot out, just stretching the back of your leg and in. Stretch and in, again, stretch and in, stretch, and in. Open to the diagonal, diagonal stretch, and in, stretch, just lengthening the back of the leg, getting those knees to work a little bit, and the ankles to work a little bit. Come back to center, slide the right leg out, toes pulling back toward the shin, hands on the opposite thigh, big breath in here, Exhale, tilt forward with a flat back. Back of the neck is long and you're looking at your right toes here. Good, sit tall, change hands, slide the left leg out, toes pulling back toward the left shin, big breath in. 
Exhale and tilt with a flat back, back of the neck long. You're looking at your left toes now. Breathe and sit tall and slide back in, good. Open the toes, heels, toes, heels, toes for our adductor stretch. These inside thigh muscles here that can get very tight. Hands inside your thighs and press open, release. Keep the spine and chest lifted. Open, release, open, release, open, release, open and stay there. Big breath in, exhale. Here's that same diagonal tilt. Flat back, long back of the neck. Press the chest toward the floor. Push your feet down into the floor. Press your legs open. Breathe. And sit nice and tall. One more time, take a breath in. Exhale and breathe as you tilt. Pressing the chest for the floor. Push the feet into the floor. Press the legs open. Sit tall. Relax your arms, wiggle your shoulders, toe heel in. Good, take another breath. Exhale and roll your shoulders. All right, we're gonna get our tennis ball. So you wanna roll the tennis ball in your hands like this. Keep the fingers slightly relaxed and open your feet a little wider than your hips. So we're gonna roll as we reach up, kind of relaxing those hands that can get very stiff, and then we're gonna roll down, pull your bellies in as you do that. Come back to here, and we're gonna roll over to the right, roll over to the left, and rolling again all the way up, Coming back to center, rolling down, pull the bellies in. Let's take it over to the left this time. And center, and over to the right, and center, good, all right. So we're gonna hold the ball now in the right hand. Relax the left hand on the left thigh. We're going to reach up, across, and a little bit lower. So there are three levels. I'll show you again. Up, keep this shoulder down because if it's up like this, we're gonna create tension in the neck. So reaching on a high diagonal, sort of a middle diagonal, and then a little bit lower. Switch hands. Reach up high, keep that shoulder relaxed. Middle and a little bit lower. Again, switch hands. High, middle, lower, switch hands. High, middle, lower, good. Switch hands. Now we're going to take it coming down. So we're going to get lower, lower, and even lower. Pull the bellies in and lower, lower and lowest, okay? Let's do that one again. Getting lower, pull the bellies in, and all the way down, you can even touch the floor. So, sorry, lower, lower, and all the way down. Good, very nice. Toe heel in a little bit, turn your legs out. So we're taking the, the ball in your right hand again. We're going to reach out, sweep across, grab with your left hand, and lift up and over. Reach with your right and lift up and over. Reach with your left and reach up and over. Swing over, reach with your right, up and over. Let's do it twice more. Left hand comes to the ball up and over, right hand comes to the ball, up and over. Let's do it two more times. I want your eyes to follow the ball as I was doing with mine. So reach, up and over, reach, up and over. Good one, all right. 
toes straight ahead. So I want you to circle, 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 switch hands, circle, circle, circle. However your body is, your circle might be a different size than mine. So don't force it. Now we're gonna take a different circle. So we're going to slide our legs slightly open. One leg is going to almost stretch straight to the side. Yes. And we're gonna take it in the left hand with the right hand on the thigh, but we're reaching toward the right side. So a lateral circle in front of you and reverse direction. Let's take two in each direction, forward, forward, and reverse back, back. Good. Bring the legs in, switch hands, slide the legs open, try to straighten the right leg if possible, left hand on the left thigh, the right hand is going to reach toward the left side. Forward forward, forward, and reverse. Back, back, back. Now let's do two in each direction. Forward, forward, and back, back. Good. Bring the legs together. Hands up. Let's do some Harlem Globetrotter. So we go under the leg and come up. 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 Speed it up. Under, up, under, up, under, up, under. Four more and four, three, two, one, good job, all right. Touch across, so you have the hand, the, the ball in your right hand, touch your left shoulder, swing behind you. Touch your left shoulder, swing behind you. Again, opening this tight pectoral muscle. Touch, swing behind you. Touch, swing behind you. Switch hands. Left hand, touch the right shoulder, swing behind you. Touch, swing behind you. Touch, swing behind you. Touch, swing behind you. Good job. Come to center. All right, so we are going to write our names with the ball. So I want you to pretend that this is actually like a piece of chalk or a crayon or maybe a, a big thick pen of some kind or pencil. So you may print or you may use script. You're going to write your first name. It's gonna look kind of strange, so you don't have to look at me because I'm going to do it with my, with, with my left hand, which you know as your right, okay? So whichever hand you write with, I want you to write your name with the ball now. Ready, go. Remember, you can print or let's do it one more time. Ready, go. Okay, switch hands, <laughs> okay, ready, go. Do it one more time, go. 
No fair if you have short names. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much for your brain, okay? For your brain. All right, so I am going to take the ball in my right hand and I'm going to pretend that I was going to either throw it underhand, yes? So we're gonna do an underhand throw, but it's gonna take a full circle. Underhand throw switch hands, overhand throw, switch hands, underhand throw, or wind up, switch hands, overhand throw. We're going to add some feet to it, so the opposite leg is going to come up with an extension. Opposite leg, and again, opposite leg, opposite leg. Right hand throws underhand in a big circle, left hand throws overhand. Opposite leg. Okay, let's try it on the other side. So the left hand is going to throw underhand, opposite leg. Underhand, overhand with the right. Under, over, under, over, under. Get those legs to stretch over. Good job. Okay, that was really good. Okay, jump your legs out. Touch the floor if you can. Come up. Touch the floor if you can. Come up. Touch the floor if you can, come up, jump in. Touch to one side and lift. To the other side and lift. To one side and lift. To the other side and lift. Put the ball on your head, elbows open on your chest. Put the ball on your head, on your chest. Put the ball on your head, put the ball on your chest. Hold the ball and we're gonna jump. Jump and the ball reaches to the diagonal and in. Diagonal and in. Diagonal and in. Diagonal and in. So that's a lot of information that I just gave you, yes? So we're gonna jump, touch the ball and lift. Touch the ball and lift. Touch the ball and lift three times. Legs jump in, touch to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, four times, four times. Ball on your head and chest. Ball on your head and chest. Ball on your head and chest, three times. Jump and reach to the diagonal and in reach and in, reach and in, reach and in four times. Let's do it once more all the way through. Jump and touch and up, two and up, three and up. Jump in to the right side, left side, right side, Left side, good, all right. On your head, on your chest. Elbows wide, on your chest. One more, on your head, on your chest. Jumping again, reach for the diagonal, in. Reach for the diagonal, in. Look at the ball this time. Good, okay, <laughs> that was great. That was great, so work in our coordination working our coordination. Okay, so I want you to just toss the ball from one hand to the other. You can do this this fast or maybe slower. 
Keep your eyes on the ball. You can do it faster or slower. Try to get a rhythm. And rest. Place the ball to the side. We are going to come back to it. I want you to have it handy because after we do our standing exercises, we are going to come back to it and do a little bit of massage. So wiggle forward in your chair, open your legs so they're at least hip width apart. You may use your hands on the chair to get up, on your thighs, swing, or whatever works for you. Some people like to do this, that's fine. Or you may remain seated. We're gonna do four rocks to get up. So push your feet down into the ground and a little bit of a lift and in. And a little bit of a lift and in. A little bit more, toes are pressing down. And this time, toes and heels pressing down, head lifting up and you're standing nice and tall, clear focus. Feel your feet rooting into the ground. Make sure that you're not dizzy, sit down if you are. And clap, get that beat, little steps. Keep that beat, go around to the back of your chair. So you're gonna be behind your chair here, marching. I'll be to the side for part of this. So march march, march, march. Step out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Again, out, out, in, in, and out, out, in, in. Good. Make sure that your shoulders are right over your hips. Ankles are underneath your hip sockets. And we bend, stretch. Lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower. Now we bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch, let go, lift. This is optional, bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower. Now we're going to bend, stretch, lift, lower. That's snapping. Let's do it again. Snap, 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 snap. Good work. All right. I'm going to come behind the chair now. So I want you centered behind the chair. Hopefully you can see my feet. We're gonna touch to the front, to the side, and to the back, and center. To the front, to the side, and to the back, and center. So if I'm standing out here, it's going to look like to the front with your toe, to the side, to the back and come back to parallel center, to the front with the other foot, to the side, to the back, and come back to center. Let's do it one more time. To the front, come in. To the side, come in. To the back, come in. Stay center, switch sides to the front and center, back, aside and center, back and center, come in. Good, let's do it one more time. Touch to the front, come to center. Side, come to center. Back, come to center. Shift your weight. Front with the other foot and center. Side and center. Back and center. Good job. From here, we're going to pivot. So open your legs a little bit wider. I'm gonna move the chair over to here. Bend your knees slightly. 
We're going to lift up our heels and move them to the left. Put the heels down. Knees are tracking to the right. Lift the heels up and come back to center. Now lift the heels up and move them to your right, knees tracking to your left. Come back to center. So heels are gonna go that way, knees going that way. Heels come down, pivot back to center, heels going that way, knees going that way. Heels down, lift them up, come back to center. Now we're going to just switch from side to side. So the heels are gonna go this way first, and then this way. Keep your knees in line with your toes. Heels up and down. Heels up and down. Heels up and down. Heels up and down. Pivot and look to the right. Pivot and look to the left. Knees are aiming here. Knees are aiming here. Knees are aiming here. Knees are aiming here. Now, knees are aiming here. Stop. Take your front leg, your right leg. Step forward and bend that knee. Straighten the back leg. So we're in a lunge. Reach the right arm forward. Look past your fingers. Optional, if you want, take this other hand and reach behind you. You're in a lunge and reaching in two directions. Balance. Now hold your chair again. Hold your chair. Pull back with your front foot, pivot to face center. Lift your heels, we're gonna send them in this direction. Now you're looking in this direction, and we're gonna take the front leg and step out, front knee bent, back leg straight. Reach your left arm, look past your fingers. Optional if you want, let go with this hand, reach behind you. Balance. Good, hold on to the chair again, hold on. Push back a little bit, bring that front leg back and come to center, good. So march it out a little bit. Turn your toes out and let's practice our regular shifting. So we shift out to the side, this knee bends the, bends the other one straight, push back to center. Side, center, side, center, side, center. Toes straight ahead, and we step back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. You don't need to move your chair. <laughs> I do because I don't have enough room to do that. Let's do it all again. So toes start turned out, and we are shifting side, side, this time reaching side, reaching side, and then toes straight ahead, and we're going to reach back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Good, okay, just testing your balance a little bit more and your ability to shift weight, which is so crucial. And we'll get into the freezing and gait in a little bit. So, I want you to open your legs a little bit wide and we're going to just swing from side to side. Keep the knees tracked over the toes. Just let your arms be loose Good, come back to center, step out, step out, and bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Now we're going to bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift. This time we're going to bend and swing this leg up so your heel hits your bottom. 
bend, swing up. Mine never does, but you can try. Bend, swing it up. So we have four of those, yes, four shifts. Yes, and we're going to shift to the side. Side, side, yes? Let's try the whole thing. So we have step out and shift, come back to center. Step out and shift, come back to center. Step out and shift, come back to center. Step out and shift, come back to center, yes. And step out, step out, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, swing that leg up, bend, swing that leg up, bend, swing it up, bend, swing it up, good. Bring your feet back in, feet back in, toes straight ahead, open the feet out, bend your knees, hula hoop your hips, nice and big, hula hoop, and reverse. Good, wiggle your hips from side to side. Now, keeping your hips right where they are, knees tracking over the toes, wrap the arms. We just did this, we're just making it a little bit bigger. Swing and let your arms wrap. You might even hit your back. Good, come back to center and straighten up. Now I want you to turn and face this direction, but on this side of your chair. So we're gonna start with one leg and we're going to go heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Pivot, bend, pivot. Feet together, turn to face this direction. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Bend, pivot. If you want, you can pivot again. Bring your feet together. So holding the chair, start with one or the other leg, it doesn't matter. Heel, touch the heel, drop the toe. 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 Bend your knees, pivot to face the front. Now you can pivot again to face the diagonal. Pivot and bring your feet together. A little adjustment there. Going back the other way, heel, drop the toe. Heel, drop the toe. Heel, drop the toe, heel, drop the toe. Bend your knees, pivot to face the front. If you want, pivot to face the diagonal and step back to here. Good. So put that in the parking lot. That is a key for freezing in your gait. Come back to here, turn your toes out, lift your knee, lift your knee, lift your knee, Lift your knee, swing your leg, swing your leg, swing your leg, swing your leg. Step out, step out, nice and wide, wider if you need to. Bend and stretch, bend and stretch. One more, bend, pull those skinny jeans all the way up. Zip the magic zipper, flatten your toothpaste tube from your tailbone. Squirt that toothpaste through your spine and out the top of your head onto the ceiling and begin to grow. A half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and an inch, we can do it. Keep breathing, let go. Let go if you can with both hands, but that's optional. Wipe the toothpaste off the ceiling, open wide, stretch your fingers, push your feet into the ground again. Feel gigantic in all directions. Test your balance. 
Good, come back to center. Twinkle like a star, shimmer, glitter, and shine. You're about to get the Emmy or maybe the Oscar. And yes, take your bow. Take your bow. Bend your knees, toe heel back in, wiggle it out a little bit. All right, let's come back to our the front of our chair, but we're gonna heel toe walk. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Come back, feel the chair with the backs of your legs. I'm gonna move over just a tad. Squat and then have a seat. Grab that tennis ball again. Sit forward in your chair, take the ball. We're gonna put it right here on this pectoral muscle and we're gonna roll it around. So you wanna relax that left arm and press into that muscle as you roll it around. Reverse direction, really pressing into that. Good, let's switch hands. So you're gonna press into this pectoral muscle, not, not the armpit, not your shoulder, but this thick muscle right there, right at, the, at that area before it gets to your armpit. Press hard, but not to the point of pain, okay? With all of these massage techniques, never press to the point of pain. And never press on a bone. We're always pressing into the mu muscle to try to relax it, yes. Okay, let me just check my massage notes. Okay, so that loosens up these muscles. We're going to take our thigh, and you can do this sitting. So you want to start at the center of the belly of the muscle, which is right in the center, and you can roll back and forth. Feels really good. Now you might have some tightness that's slightly to the side, or maybe all the way to the side, which is your IT band. So you can roll into that IT band. You can rest your legs slightly forward this way or even up on a table or another chair. So you're just rolling back and forth. Notice that I'm not going all the way to my knee or all the way up into my hip. I'm just trying to get the thickest part of the muscle to allow it to relax. Now, if you have a cramp, yes, or a knot in this muscle, or any muscle, you're gonna wanna not press into that initially. You're gonna wanna go around that area and press around that area first and eventually target it with some big heavy pressing, okay? That's a little trick. So again, if you have a knot, particularly if it's in your leg or your back or near your shoulder, you're gonna to wanna to go around that area that's knotted first and relax all those muscle fibers first and then hit the target. But that might take a while. So let's quickly go back and forth on the opposite thigh and maybe out to the side on the IT band Pressing into the IT band. That gets really tight. Okay, here's another one. You can put the ball on the floor. You can put it under the ball of your feet and circle around. You can roll it back and forth under your arch. So under the ball of your foot to relax where you might be gripping, even relaxes the toes a little bit, keep the foot very relaxed. Roll back and forth to relax the arch. I'm gonna move it over, we're gonna try it on the other side, relaxing that ball of that foot, and then sliding back and forth under the arch. Very good for tired feet. Parkinson's or no Parkinson's, this one's a great one. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing that's kind of extended because we're starting to run out of time. So if you are lying in bed or sitting in a place where you have something under your legs, if you have a hamstring that's very tight, again, place under the belly of the muscle, Relax the leg, yes, and you can roll back and forth like this. Or just press and rest. You could even, if you had a, a weight or a sandbag, you could just rest there. But again, if you have a knot, you wanna go around it first. Never go to the point of pain, never press on a bone. Same thing with your calf muscle. Rolling back and forth, released leg, nice and heavy, relaxed leg, relaxed foot, and rolling on that calf muscle. You can also do it lying on your back, but never on your spine. So you can put it here, here, even up here, or here, yes? This is a good one in bed. It's kind of painful to do it on the floor. So I recommend doing it in bed first until you get the hang of it. Again, lots of breathing, lots of releasing. Never go to the point of pain that you can't stand and never put it on a bone. So I'm going to have you do just a couple of breaths sitting tall, chest lifted, arms float out, breathe in, exhale, and again, breathe in, exhale, and one more, breathe in, exhale. So all of the stretching that we did today addresses the tightness that is in these muscles, in these muscles, in these muscles, in these muscles, yes, that rigidity and that tightness at the back of our legs. I showed you a lot of little massage techniques that you can use. You're welcome to, if you have specific questions about those, to Email us at info at powerforparkinsons.org and I will answer your email personally. So to get back to Tina's question about freezing and gait. So if you are doing what's called festination, which is speeding your walk up like this, and then you stick and then you freeze and then you fall often, what I have found is that if you heel toe walk and think slowly about the heel toe, you will slow down, you will improve your gait. There are some issues with freezing that have to do with transitioning, like through a door, over a door jam, from carpet to floor. Um, that, so there are some tricks involved in that that I can talk about later. Uh, but my mantra that I've discovered after nine years is heel toe, go slow. So when you are festinating, freezing, you want to get your heel toe, go slow, create a rhythm. Another trick for that is to put your earbuds in and put on some Motown that has a nice, good beat and connect your walk to the beat. So there you go. All right, we're gonna have to end it here, but I wanna say adieu. Wonderful, I hope you enjoyed all of this today. Um, send your comments. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, none of this. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Okay, so um, sweat it out if you can. Hopefully you'll stay cool. 
water bottles always with you if you're in the climate like we are right now. And be well, be safe, no falling, and I will see you soon. Take care, I love you all. Bye. Hi, if you had fun with me today, give us a thumbs up. You can also leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.